Taurus, welcome to your weekend. What's going on, Weave? Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, and leave comments down below. You have to come back and let me know if this happens, if these messages come true. All right, this is for situationships and singles. I will timestamp singles. All right, let's get an overall love message for my Taurus. What is going on? Be clear and precise. All right, heart-to-heart -heart conversations coming up this weekend. You could be reconciling with the honeymoon um, and spending time together, okay? So there could be some conversations and some getting-togethers. I'll leave that to you. Conversations and getting-togethers, Taurus. <clears throat> Let's take a look at your person. <clears throat> How they're feeling, their intentions, what they're thinking, and any actions they may take towards this and some advice. All right. Show me their person and the energy surrounding them. We do have the Four of Wands, so that's a, a card of commitment. So this could be somebody that you've been in a commitment with before, but definitely um, is looking to get together um, this weekend or has an energy of maybe um, getting together and talking about commitment, um, talking about reconciliation for the overall energy. We'll clarify that later or see what it comes up in the read. We have the Knight of Cups, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody with um, in this energy of very charming. We have the Knight of Pentacles too, so whoa, this is you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? You guys are coming together. I see it coming together here. You could definitely be connecting with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody who wants to come in and express their feelings to you. I feel like you're a little bit on guard here. Um, you're moving a little bit slower than your person. I don't know why the read wants to come out like this, but it showed up like this. At first, I was thinking maybe you're connecting with two people, but I went straight for this is you. All right. You are the solid, very grounded one. Um, you're coming. You're very reliable. You're coming from this place of um, <clears throat> maybe being a little bit stubborn here, too. Um, you could be a little bit stubborn right now. Um, and or the, your person knows they're coming towards you. They know that you may be a little bit stubborn about them coming, but, but they're definitely coming in to um, talk to you and express their feelings to you, okay? I have the four of pentacles. <clears throat> and this is how they're feeling. They may be feeling like a need to let go, a need, um, or maybe they feel like you need to let go of something, Okay. We have the um, the Queen of Cups. What they're thinking is they want to express their feelings. There's a lot of love there. They're very intuitive and they feel they feel for you. They really do feel for you. But I also get that this could be they want you to let go a little bit um, and express how you feel, or they want to let go and express how they feel towards you. They can go any of those ways. All right, we have the lovers card. So this is their intentions. They definitely, it means clear as day, is that they want to communicate. They want, they, they've made this choice to come in and they want to come into a union. Um, they want to get together and they want you to express, they want you both to express how you feel towards one another. Okay, any actions they might take. The Empress card is travel maybe towards you. They want to express their love for you. Um, and they just, this is a great card, great energy to have. Great energy this weekend of just joy and abundance. And they want that feeling. Um, and they, they definitely want to work on this. They want a new birth. They want a new birth to the situation and they want to nurture this relationship. Okay. And I think that it's that enjoy this bliss of this time together, because I think that this weekend is going to be very, very happy, very, very um, <clears throat> emotional for the two of you. We have Taurus energy there. This is your energy, um, the Empress, all right? They have love for you. They want to they intend to sleep with you, maybe. <laughs> I always say that. I know the lovers means other things, but I just see it as that. I want that's how I want to see it. Um, and you could be talk of commitment here. 
Okay, there could be some serious talk of commitment. All right, let's get some advice. Let's get some advice for my Taurus. This is a great, easy read. You're just a little on guard, maybe a little bit stubborn, and they want you to let go and express your feelings to them. <clears throat> advice trust the universe trust and just move in and we have the star i mean you have both here trust the star and the high priestess this is written in the stars this means that yes everything's going to be all right everything's going to be all right justice here as well too i pulled up so there's a balance of a balanced union here this is all major arcana cards and you have the empress here as well this this relationship that's going on for whoever this resonates is blessed. It could be, it could lead to marriage. It could lead to it. There could be an engagement, um, but it's definitely um, trust in the universe, letting it unfold the way it needs to unfold. Um, and you're just going to have a great weekend together. You're going to have a very loving weekend together. All right. That's great read guys. Great read. So look forward to those conversations. Okay. Look forward to those conversations. Now let's go on to singles here. <clears throat> A single Taurus who's coming in for you because you may be getting some conversations as well too. You may be hearing from somebody. You may be meeting. You may be hearing from somebody that there's a potential somebody that you they wanna they wanna meet you. One more shuffle. Show me a singles person. All right. We have five of cups and we have the energy here at the bottom of three of swords. So I'm going with your person here. The six of swords here is leaving a situation that has left them in grief. Okay. They are traveling. They are moving. And I was going to say something about a boat because I saw a boat here. They could be traveling over water. They could be, um, they could be living somewhere near where there's boats or something like that. But there's definitely travel. They are, they have had some sort of separation or breakup. They're moving. They're moving in towards you. They're, they're moving in. They're single now. And they could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, but it looks as though they're moving towards you. They are leaving a situation that has left them in grief and they are traveling or moving towards you. Um, they are, are also uh, nurturing themselves right now and nurturing the situation because they definitely, you have the Ace of Wands here and you have the um, Ace of Swords here. So they definitely want to communicate. There's two new beginnings here. They want to communicate some sort of pat, um, their desire. They think about you. They think about you. They want to start. We have the star here and we have the ace of cups and we have the ace of wands. Okay. There's your messages, singles. So your person, whoever, I don't know if you know this person or not. They're definitely leaving a situation that broke their heart. They have left. They are traveling. Whether if you have not met this person yet, they are traveling to move to maybe where or somewhere around you. Okay, they're taking care of themselves. They are trying to nurture and rebuild themselves and become more stable. They could be a single parent. Okay, um, but they are very nurturing and as a person, but it also could tell me that they are moving towards you. They're moving closer in towards you. You have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So they definitely, um, they, they want to, there will be communication Okay, um, of some sort of new, there's a new desire, a new spark, new something, new creative something, new beginning. Okay, I don't, they're being guided to you. I'll, um, so this is the wish card, the wish fulfillment. This tells me that it's just being guided by the universe. This, it's a new love coming in. It's all new beginnings here. You have three aces here. Come on. So, and there's messages coming in. So there's lots of travel. This person is traveling to you. You may know who this person is. Please leave in comments down below. But they're definitely leaving a situation, a heartbreak, and they're traveling towards you. And there's three 
aces here. New begin and new love. New communicate new love. They're thinking about you. They're very passionate about you. Um, and they're being guided by the universe here. I mean, this is this is all working the way it's unfolding the way it's supposed to. So expect those messages to come in. Expect those messages to come in because they're right here. Okay, you just have to. They they could be moving in this weekend. They could be moving towards you this weekend. All right. Let me get some advice from these cards. Let me get some advice for you. Regarding this, okay. Let's get some advice advice regarding this. I definitely do see somebody, or if there's somebody you're manifesting. If you're manifesting this new passionate beginning, um, they are on their way. If you're growing impatient, they're on their way. They just have to travel to you before you hear from them. But I'm getting this for the weekend, which means that you could be receiving those messages this weekend. We got the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom here. So this is potentially somebody that you can see a future with. Four of Cups. Somebody, you know, this person here is growing bored, growing weary. And we have the Eight of Cups here, um, ready to walk away and abandon the situation. I'm getting this is exactly what I'm saying. We got the Queen of Pentacles here too. This could be your energy, Taurus. Um, whereas you're you're growing weary and you're ready to abandon the thought of even being with somebody or being with this person because it's just you're growing impatient and you're growing um, maybe sort of angry and tired of maybe being single. Okay. But the universe is saying here to have this, have patience, have patience. This is coming. If you've asked for something, if you've asked for a religion, or you've been waiting for a while for messages to come in, it, they're coming now. Okay. Just be patient. They're coming. They're on their way. All right. I like those messages. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope these helped. You guys are awesome. Take care.